Hey guys, what's up? It's your least favorite commentary channel on YouTube, Rowdy Crowley, back at you again with another dank meme. What's up, my memeaholics? How are you doing today? I'm trying out some new names for you guys. Maybe I'll actually come up with a good one sooner or later. But today, I'm talking about something I really have been wanting to talk about, but I didn't really know how to until one day I just decided, screw it. I never know what I'm doing, so let's do it. Today, I'm talking about Deus Ex Mankind Divided, the sequel to Deus Ex Human Revolution, made by Eidos Montreal. Now, Deus Ex Human Revolution is legitimately my favorite video game of all time. I'm not kidding. I love the game so much. It is seriously the best game I've ever played. This isn't like sponsored by anybody or something. I'm just saying I really love this game, so I'm really looking forward to the sequel. But I want to talk about how my expectations are for it and my worries and my concerns and all of that. Now, when I saw the announcement trailer that came out April 8th, 2015, so about a year ago, I was hyped right away. I mean, I think I was legitimately jumping up and down around my house screaming, Deus Ex is getting a sequel, guys! Deus Ex, Mankind Divided is coming out, I need the game! Needless to say, I was a little excited about the announcement. Not too much, but a little. You guys have no idea how much I love this game. I have a poster of it in my studio, and it is my favorite poster. I have a Star Wars one, I have an Edgeworld one, I have a Nightwing one, I have a Gangnam Style one, and a Wolverine one, but my favorite one is Deus Ex Human Revolution. And I'm not trying to be like I'm a little fanboy or anything, even though I'll admit, I am freaking a fanboy, okay? If I met the person who did Adam Jensen's voice, or I met someone who like wrote the story, or anyone that worked on the game, I'd probably freak out and ask for their autograph, even though they aren't even famous. But that doesn't mean I'm going to be super partial and I'm not going to actually have worries about the game. Because whereas since it is my favorite game, I really want it to be good. And with the fact that most of the games that have been coming out for these current gen consoles have had tons of bugs and they just haven't lived up to the hype, I don't want to get too hype about it. And I really want to talk about how I feel. I want to talk about my feelings today, guys, because if you don't just follow your feelings, then you'll never make it anywhere in life. But if you follow your feelings and you try really hard, you can totally make it onto Broadway. <laughs> Where do I come up with this stuff, man? I'm weird. Anyway, I'm, I have watched the 25-minute like gameplay preview that they've had up for a while back in June of last year and I've watched it not gonna lie I've watched it at least like three or four times all the way through the 25 minute thing simply because I really want to decide how I feel about the game the UI's changed a lot of stuff has changed actually they have some new hacking techniques they have some new ways to fight a lot has changed now of course everything from the last game has also stayed they still have the same main character, the same augmentations, and some of the augmentations look cooler or have been improved, and that's awesome. But then my fear is, is are they adding too many different augmentations? And here's the one problem I'm really concerned about, is they said that they understand that the stealth in the game was much better than the combat, and they want to make the straight up combat better than it was in the last game because it wasn't up to par with the stealth. And I'm not going to lie, one of my favorite parts of Deus Ex Human Revolution was that it really encouraged stealth. Because I love stealth games. I like Hitman, I like Tenchu Wrath of Heaven, I like Splinter Cell, and I really love Dishonored too. Well, not Dishonored 2, the Dishonored 1, I haven't played 2 yet. By 2, I meant also. I'm sure you guys were able to figure that out, but... I just had to point it out, so that way the few of you who couldn't wouldn't be stupid, so. I really love stealth games, and I love the fact that it was so stealth-oriented. And now I'm kind of worried, is it going to be pretty much Call of Duty, but with the option of crawling through vents? I don't want it to become Advanced Warfare 2 or Black Ops 4, you know? I want it to be Deus Ex Mankind Divided. But here's the thing, Eidos Montreal, they did a phenomenal job with Deus Ex Human Revolution, and they are a very down-to-earth company, so I think they understand what people want. They aren't just there to make money, I think they really are here trying to make the best game they can for us. And so, I do trust them completely, I just, I don't want this game to be screwed up, because I, I just, I want a good game, you know? 
I don't think it's going to be easy to make it even as good as Human Revolution was, let alone make it better, because I really think the storyline, the gameplay, and just everything about Deus Ex Human Revolution was phenomenal. The only problem I had was the boss battles. And they even admitted it themselves, they were like, our boss battles sucked. And that's why I got the director's edition, the like better version, where they actually worked on the boss battles to make them better. But my problem with the boss battles wasn't so much they were bad, it was the fact that they were unbalanced, and especially some of them were almost impossible to beat unless you had been planning for that specific boss battle all the way throughout. But since they said we're fixing that, they even tried to fix it for Human Revolution Director's Cut, I really, really believe that the boss battles in Mankind Divided will be nothing less than amazing. So I'm not really concerned about boss battles. I am a little because I don't know if they're putting enough thought into them, but I think they understand they really, really got to make sure they have good ones to make up for a human revolution. The thing I'm worried about is the augmentations. Are they just going to make Adam Jensen supremely overpowered? But see, the thing in the gameplay preview, they said that the energy for Adam Jensen, all that stuff was at max and it was like infinite. So they could just simply show you the game and show you all the cool features and everything without having to worry about stuff. And I get that. That's a good idea. I'm totally fine with that. So you probably are not going to be able to be using the Tesla gun, which I really like the Tesla gun. That's one of my favorite new augmentations. And also the like blowing up blade thing and also the blade that sticks people to walls. And all of the cool augmentations, you most likely will not get them right away. In fact, you most likely will not even get the uh, cloaking ability right away. If you do, that would suck because I liked having to earn everything I got in that game. And then when I started my new game plus, I got all my augmentations and I was able to play on the most difficult difficulty. And it just made it so much fun but still provided a challenge. And it just made the game so much fun because I got to play through it again. And I'm one of those people who will not play a game after I beat the main campaign ever. I don't play it again. And it's not so much because I just hate the game all of a sudden or I just don't think it's worth it. It's because I just don't think it's worth it. But the real reason why is because I just feel like I've already completed the story and I don't want to go through it again and have trouble with it again. But with the new game plus on Deus Ex, you get all your same augmentations and stuff, so you don't feel like you're starting completely over. And the story is so just fun and interesting and just phenomenal and amazing. And I'm saying those words every 10 seconds, but you know what? It's my video, so deal with it. That it just draws you in every time, and you always forget something about the story. And it's fun to try to make the same right choices again and make the right choices on ways you messed up last time. And I just think that they'll probably do it again with Mankind Divided. I think they're going to have a cool story. I like the whole idea of where it kind of feels real, like it could actually happen. Because if you follow Deus X on Twitter, which I do, they post things about the advances in like augmentation technology. And it looks like, definitely not to the extent of Deus Ex, probably, but there is some possibilities for in the future some cyborgs walking around. Not like we're going to be seeing cyborg warriors and stuff walking around anytime soon. We aren't going to be in Robocop or whatever. It's just people who maybe lost a limb from war, a disease or whatever, or a terrible accident will have these like robotic limbs that can actually pick up things and send senses to the brain. Really awesome stuff, amazing. I think it's cool and it's kind of exciting to see it happen. Because this is generally because this is generally because it is generally just stuff we imagine for movies and video games, but it's actually starting to come to life. But that's kind of getting off topic. I just think that's really cool that it's finally coming to be able to be helpful in the medical areas of life. It is really cool how they just pull you into the game story and you really like all the characters in it. Even Pritchard and Jensen, how they're constantly fighting, but it's still fun to see them work together and everything and just have some snarky comments at each other. Great game in every aspect. I think I love it. I'm not trying to sponsor the game or anything. I'm not sponsored by Deus Ex or Eidos Montreal. I'm just simply giving my opinion. And if they see this video, I really hope they don't get mad and think that I'm trying to act like they are sponsoring me. Because I'm just giving my opinion, my hopes and concerns for the future, and what I liked and disliked about Human Revolution. But my biggest fear for Mankind Divided is the fact that stealth is going to be trumped by the combat because they're going to be too worried about focusing on combat, making that better, that they'll forget about stealth. But my biggest hope 
is that the stealth is not just the same but improved because I love stealth and I love the way they make it high tech stealth because that's the kind of stuff I like. I like cloaking. I like all of the stuff they have for stealth and I don't think they're gonna completely screw it up. My biggest hope is that stealth is not just the same but improved but my biggest fear is that stealth is gonna be the same meanwhile the combat is going to reign supreme. We'll see what happens when it releases in August, August 23rd to be exact. And I will see you guys there because I'm definitely going to be getting myself a copy of this game. I'm going to hopefully get the collector's edition because I really want that 9-inch Adam Jensen figurine. But anyway, I'm not trying to persuade your guys' opinion. We're going to see how it is. I'm just telling you my personal opinion. But let me know what your opinion is on Deus Ex Mankind Divided in the comments below. I'm going to provide links to the announcement trailer for it and also the 25-minute gameplay for it. So that way you guys can form your own opinion better and you guys can decide for yourselves. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. And you don't have to watch the full 25-minute gameplay. You can just watch some of it. And then you can be like, all right, you can kind of get a good opinion on it. Let me know yours in the comments. Seriously, because this game I'm so excited for, but also worried for. So have a wonderful day, my lovely people. And I never asked for this. That's a deus ex human revolution, if you didn't know. Okay, bye. So is your face.